We are starting off our show once again on the couch with a discussion about the judicial nominating process. Representative Stephen Holt joins us now. Representative Holt, thank you so much thank for being you. here. Thank you. Great to be here. Okay, so there's a bill that would basically change the way Iowa judges get a position on any qu in, on the court. Um, it was proposed and debated this week in a subcommittee. Can you explain to our viewers what this bill does? Right. Well, it doesn't technically change how the uh, how the just judges or justices would be put on the bench, but what it does do is it changes is how the individuals who are put on the commissions would be done. Okay. Currently, half of the of the commissioners are put on by 7,500 members of the bar, mm -hmm. who are not accountable to the people. And we by don't, bar, you mean state bar association, who are all attorneys. Right. Right. 7,500 members of the bar, who are not. You know, we don't believe accountable to the people, and we don't believe there's a lot of transparency there. So, you know, our idea is to have those individuals uh, selected by the elected representatives of the people in the House and Senate who are accountable either every four years or every two years to the people of Iowa. Okay, so for our viewers at home who don't quite understand how this process works, how much of a change would this really be? Uh, how often are judges chosen, or how often do judges change, um, and who, what kind of judges does this apply to? Well. Uh, obviously, judges uh, would be need to be replaced when they, you know, they retire or they 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 come off the bench for some other reason. So we're talking about the Supreme Court and we're talking about district court judges, associate district court judges. So how often they are, you know, that transition would be necessary would depend on obviously when they leave the bench. So there is a state uh, nominating commission. Uh, which would deal with the Court of Appeals and with the Iowa Supreme Court, and then there's a, a nominating commission that deals with the district court. It is a change. There, uh, we have we we follow what's called the Missouri Plan, uh, which a, a number of other states have done as well. But a number of other states are also starting to look at moving away from that plan. Again, because the idea is that uh, the elected representatives of the people are more accountable to the people in the process. I spoke to the president of the Iowa State Bar Association right. a few weeks ago, Tom Levis, um, and he explained that uh, why this was even put into place in the first place. So let's take a listen, because he says uh, that this happened back when Senator Chuck Grassley was still in the legislature. Right. right. The governor, with his or her political influences, gets to select half the commissioners. The other half should be selected by the very people who are act actually down there at the courthouse working with these judges who have special knowledge. And so that's why it was set up that way. And it was also to uh, avoid over-politicizing the way we select our judges. So what's your response to Tom Levis's point there that lawyers are the people who are working with these judges day in and day out, and right. they should have a voice, too, in this process. Well, first of all, the attorneys are not removed from the process at all. In fact, our legislation requires that at least half of those individuals that are put on the commissions must be attorneys. What we are removing is attorneys electing other attorneys to these commissions without any oversight whatsoever. And the idea that, that we're politicizing it, I don't think is accurate either. You, you know, the system is already politicized. Anybody that works with the system knows that. We are three branches of government. There's politics always involved. So we don't believe we're politicizing it. We believe what we're actually doing is uh, giving a voice to the people through their elected representatives. Are you an attorney yourself? No, I am not. Under the proposed bill, um, so what, what, what are the next steps in this proposal? proposal? You're talking about in terms of the legislative yeah. process. Yeah. So it has passed subcommittee, and uh, this coming week on Wednesday, uh, I believe we're looking at uh, uh, holding the hearing before the full committee. Mm -hmm. If it advances from the full committee, then it will be eligible for debate on the floor of the Iowa House. And then it has to go through the whole process again on the Senate side. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here, Representative. Thank you. It's great to be we'll here. We'll continue Thanks. to talk with you throughout this process yes. and follow this along. So thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Have a great day.